Okay, here we go. So we're gonna do um, Newton Rapson in the uh, program R. Um, I just opened um, uh, an R script using the .R extension and noticed that um, Emacs is doing a uh, Python um, text highlighting. And the reason why is because in R, the comment is a hashtag. And so I figured the only options I had for uh, highlighting was, you know, Ruby, Perl, Python, and so I just picked Python. Um, if you have your own IDE for R, um, that's up to you. Um, there's, I don't need to use a, a header, like the shebang that I had before, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know, print uh, Newton Rapson uh, using R, and you can um, run R in an interactive environment as well. I don't have very much experience with R, but I like using R script, um, nr.r, and so that's gonna run the script, and there it is, um, the print function that we did. Um, so then we're just gonna follow the same thing. So we're gonna make our functions, and so everything kind of operates as a, uh, called an R object, and it's kind of like C um, in the in the sense that it uses these, uh, these arrow keys, and um, Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to define what this fun object is, and so we're going to say out. And there's no equal sign, right? Equals is kind of misleading. Uh, there's no inequality here. You know, when you do something like this, um, you're not saying that out is equal to x minus one. You're saying take x minus one squared and put it into out, and then this function is going to return uh, out like that. Um, same thing with uh, I'm going to make a f prime. Uh, function again the input is x and then this is out and when I want you to take uh, two times x minus one and put it into out and then return out okay so there are two uh, functions there okay so how do you get uh, command line arguments well you, what you do is you use a function called oddly enough command args and then you have to use this weird thing called trailing only equals true and if you don't do that this doesn't work at all um, then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do print args just so we can see it um, so here's our script if you notice uh, the arguments are character 0 which means there's nothing there if I type in 10 there's my impute argument uh, 10 um, then what I'm gonna do is I want to make that uh, I want to grab the first element of args and so I'm gonna say x0 and instead of converting it to a float, like in Python, I'm going to convert it to a double, and I'm going to grab uh, the first one, and R starts with one. Now, again, everything will be fine. Here we're going to do print um, x0. Oop, and there's no P. Everything's fine if we have an entry argument defined. If we don't, it's going to say not applicable because it couldn't actually take that and convert it to a double. So again, we need to get the number of arguments um, using the length function. And then if the number of arguments is less than one, we're going to say, hey, hey, buddy, stop and um, put in this error, not enough input arguments. I think that'll work. Yep, not enough input arguments, execution halted. Otherwise, if we type in 10, boom, Newton Rasson using R, 10. Oh, geez, GTK warning. Okay, so now we have our x0 and we have our x. Now what we need to do is we need to get our x iters, and this is we're gonna use as array x0. And so now x iters is an array. Okay, and then we're gonna do exactly the same thing that we've been doing, right? So now we're going to evaluate the error function or set the function at x0 and then we're going to say while the absolute value of error is greater than 1e5 do a bunch of stuff. Now again I'm going to grab Python so we see what we want to do. First what I want to do is I want to uh, print the last element of the array. So how do I do that? Well I have to use the tail function x iters 1 and then what I want to do is I want to actually execute the iteration. So x current equals, oh sorry, there's no equals, is tail x iters comma n equals one. Then I say x next 
is x current minus the function evaluated at x current divided by f prime x current and then I want to append it and so how do I append something in um, R I do x iters is the C function x iters comma x next and that will append the two together and then finally I want to recompute the error function um, fun of x next and that should be it uh, let's see if that works hmm o object x current not found uh, give me one second I'm, I'm really bad at debugging R code Okay, so debugging in R is terrible. Uh, it's an error object x current not found. Um, but if you look here, I'm evaluating f of x current, and it was because I was looking at uh, Python here, and it turns out the function is actually called fun here. Um, so I need to keep things consistent. So I'm just going to call this f and see if that works. Um, couldn't find function fun now, so now I need to change this one to f and change this one to f. Um, so that's that's annoying. Oh man, and see now. Oh jeez. Um, I'm gonna change everything back to fun. It was working. I, I, this this works with fun. I know it does. I've done it before. Maybe it doesn't like single letters. Uh, who knows? Oh man, now it's, it still doesn't like it. Hang on. Okay, so I I don't know why I had to explicitly say this. Um, x0 is as a double from the arguments, and x iters is as array of x0. So I assumed that x iters was a double. And when I grabbed a tail of x iters, I assumed that x current was a double as well. Turns out it's not, so I had to do as double um, like this. Um, and so now I, everything works uh, just fine. Um, I'm actually curious if I delete, if I change every all the funds to f's. Uh, let's see if that works just fine uh, let's see yeah and it does so you can have uh, functions that are uh, one, one line um, but anyway so how do you plot uh, so R is a statistics program you would think plot would be uh, built in and uh, believe it or not it's, it is, it is. Uh, you just type in plot x iters and then you, you run it now you're probably wondering uh, where the heck is it well unfortunately um, if you go to uh, where 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 I ran the code, here's my R script. It actually makes a PDF called rplots.pdf, and here it is. Here's the here's x editors, and here's the index. And so um, that's great, but I don't want to have to open um, this function every single lot, every single time. So what I do is I type in dev dot off, which just uh, flushes the output. And then I'm going to use a system command. And so in Linux, you can actually type in events uh, rplots.pdf, and it'll actually pop up like this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that exact same system command rplots.pdf like this. And so when I uh, run the script now, it should just pop up, and then I can exit out. And if I do 20, it'll uh, pop up again, and except now it starts at 20. And so now I have like real-time feedback of my Newton reps, and I can do uh, minus 5. And it starts from minus five and converges to uh, one, just like we've been seeing uh, for what the fifth time over. So there is uh, Newton Raston in R. Um, hopefully that helped. I'm really bad at R. I apologize for taking so long. All right. So what's next? Uh, Ruby. Um, why am I doing Ruby? Uh, just because you know Ruby on Rails, all that. It just sounds cool. Here we go. <laughs> 